one in three adults in the U.S. isn't getting enough sleep. We know that has a major impact on our health and productivity, but now we're learning that our social lives and our relationships are affected too. So what exactly do our social lives lose when we lose sleep? This is a typical sleep cycle. Most of our sleep is non-REM. That's when our muscles relax, tissues repair, and our energy is restored. The other 25% is REM sleep. That's when we dream. But how important is it to get through all of these stages uninterrupted? Sleep is so important for your psychosocial health. That's Dr. Jared Salatin, assistant professor of psychiatry and human behavior at Brown University and a sleep expert. If I were to keep you up for two hours a night, getting six hours of sleep instead of eight, by the end of two weeks, your brain starts to behave as if you've been cut up an entire night. That's pretty scary because a person who stays up all night is aware of that impairment, but a person sleeping six hours for two weeks is walking around impaired without feeling impaired. Well, that's concerning. It's so easy to lose a little sleep if we're tossing and turning, if a significant other is tossing and turning, even if a phone lights up on a bedside table. So if sleep-related impairment is common, how exactly does it impact our social lives? One UC Berkeley study had people look at a face going through various expressions. The participants identified the emotion of the expressions. After a full night's sleep, they were accurate. But not when the participants were sleep deprived for 24 hours beforehand. Then they misidentified more faces as being threatening. MRI scans show that the inability to read faces correlated with a lack of quality REM sleep. So when we aren't well rested, we're already less perceptive. Then things go from bad to worse. Let's say I'm tired and find myself feeling a little on edge. My emotional reactions will probably be over the top. The amygdala is your fear and emotional center in the brain. Think of it like a gas pedal. But you don't want to be all emotion all the time. So you have the prefrontal cortex. That's the break. When you're sleep deprived, that connection is severed. It's as if you're all gas with no break, or at least a poorly functioning break. So, in everyday situations, sleep guards us against emotional distress and keeps us level-headed. But if I do skip a full night's sleep or if I have a restless night, I'm thinking I can just keep a low profile. Not talk to anybody, avoid making any big decisions, no harm, no foul. Nope. Even looking well-rested makes us more socially appealing to other people by about 20 to 30 percent. The bottom line, I need to get comfortable and get a great night of sleep tonight if I'm gonna be the life of the party tomorrow.